Hello everybody and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel with me Ashley. I'm delighted to have you all here. Now this video is going to be a little bit different. Obviously if you're used to my channel you know I do my match previews, I then do the live streams for the games and then afterwards I give you the best bits of them live streams. This one's a little bit different because unfortunately I couldn't do my live stream for the final game of the season, Liverpool versus Wolves. Because I was in Liverpool uh, for the match, I didn't go to the match, but I was there, I was in the city, I felt the emotion, it was amazing, I took some photos, it was also my stag party, for those of you who know I'm getting married, so I was going to be there anyway, so I decided to make it like a two for one sort of thing, I was going to go for Jürgen's farewell, and I thought I'll make it my, my stag party as well, because it'd be fun, so... I've got some photos coming up in this video as well from the trip, so I don't I don't really know what to call this video. Sort of like a a travel vlog slash match review slash goodbye to Jurgen sort of thing. So I've, obviously I'll go through the game, at what I thought of it and everything, um, and yeah, and also let you know what's to come with the channel now that it is the summer break really so um before i do that of course like always please hit that like button hit that subscribe button that's the most important that anybody could do anybody who does it it makes a massive difference so i really do appreciate it um also on that note i also want to thank everybody 159 subscribers we made before the end of the season smashed my goal so i really do appreciate all of you thank you guys so much and i look forward to doing it even more in the future and you know expanding the community welcome in everybody so thank you again so let's get into it the match review like i said i was there in liverpool it was liverpool versus wolves it was it was emotional it was very very emotional it was a tough game to watch i've never seen so many grown-ups in one place crying at the same time and we went to a pub called fitzgerald's on slater street it's an irish bar and we'll um we went there obviously had a few drinks i did try to do the stream unfortunately it wouldn't work i had poor internet connection and yes it was just full of emotion everybody it was it was like everybody was just part of this family and we were losing a member of this family you know it was really 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 tough and obviously we had to say goodbye to Jürgen and it was it was difficult but at the same time I'm so glad I went it was so fun to actually be there and so just to feel that emotion it was really tough like everybody had a, a lump in their throat everybody stayed around like we, obviously it was on Sky Sports everybody stayed around and watched the hour to an hour and a half of footage afterwards with the speech and the actual farewell and the, all of the talks and the saying goodbye to Tiago and Matip, all of that as well. It was immense, absolutely immense. If you ever get a chance to do something like that, go and do it. It is incredible. Obviously, there is not going to be another Jurgen Klopp, not for Liverpool anyway, but it's incredible. We'll have to see what Arnie Slot does. Hopefully, he can uh, you know emulate what Klopp has done. So, yeah, the game itself... I thought it was a mediocre performance from Liverpool. It was nothing spectacular. We got the three points, though. We got the win, and that is what was most important. That is all I really cared about, was just sending Jürgen off on a high. It was a while since we'd won a game. It was getting a bit annoying. Salah's form had dipped, and it showed again. Like He could have scored so many goals um, at the weekend. It was crazy. Um, but he didn't. But we, like I said, we got the two goals. McAllister with a brilliant header. And was it Gakpo? I, I can't remember. I can't remember who scored the second goal. I'll put a little thing up here that says who scored. Um, but yeah, it, it was great to finish on such a high. And then the scenes that unfolded afterwards. Also, the scenes beforehand, lining the streets, thousands of fans lining the streets for the bus arriving, the team bus flares everything it was just incredible um so yeah i was really happy to be a part of that it was absolutely great um so yeah that that's my entire entire thoughts of it um so yeah of, of the game um the, the season as a whole i think 
to be honest with you, I'm, I'm quite happy with the season. I mean, at the start of the season, if you said Liverpool will win a trophy and get top four, I'd be, I'd be yes, please. You know, at the start of the season where we had to rebuild our midfield and you think, hmm, could we do it? Even when we signed McAllister and Sobosly, it was like, oh, it's not really enough. And then Endo came in and then Gravenberg came in and people were still a bit sceptical. And it, it, I'm one of them. I'm not pointing fingers. I know I was one of them. But it was... It was one of them seasons you think, no, Liverpool will probably be written off this season and we're probably not going to come to much. And well, we we did sort of write ourselves off towards the end of the season, but there is glimpses of the brilliance that this squad actually has. And obviously still changes are needed, still some in incomings and outgoings. But it can be a really promising next few years for Liverpool. Um, obviously, if Arnie Slot is... Um, backed correctly and he can hopefully he's, well he's coming into a fantastically run place so there's no reason why he should fail um, unless he's just not up for the job but of course we're going to have to get behind him we're going to have to give him time and yeah that's exactly what will happen and I can see us progressing further again and I think I think that will happen so yeah, let me know what you guys think, of course. Get in the comments. It's, um, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a difficult one to judge. But until we're actually there, until we actually see it, then, of course, then we'll know. But I I think I think it's going to be a similar season next season. Um, I think we'll get top four. I think we'll win a cup, possibly the FA Cup. Um but then we'll we'll go from there and see how it goes. Um, that's my well, that's my prediction for next season. But we'll get into that with it in a different video, of course. But I can see us seriously building some good momentum from this season. It was, you know, I think we overperformed this season really, um, and that yeah, that's just the way it happened at the end. You know, we were in the running for four trophies. We did fall off. We sort of shot ourselves in the foot. Um, form of individual players like when you look back at it I mean I gave Salah an awful bash and there was a time there he was winding me up but if you look at it if Nunes had scored 10 of the chances that Salah had put on a plate for him Salah has 10 more assists Nunes has 10 more goals and depending on when them goals are scored you could have more points you could have more trophies do you know what I mean it, it was just it just wasn't quite there and you know we'll see what happens over the course of the summer i do this is where i'm now going to go into how, where the channel is going to go over the course of the summer so um over the course of the summer i do look to give be giving you the the latest news and um you know updates for liverpool signings for instance you know what's going on in and around the club just to keep you all up to date, um, I'll probably do it long form and also short form. If there's something like completely breaking and I can make a quick video, then I'll do that. I'll make a quick video, like a short form video. But then I plan to do like news videos. Hopefully, like obviously, I'll, I'll I'll create a couple of polls on YouTube and we'll get into a bit of discussion. But I'm hoping to do um, like two a week um, and just do like a complete news roundup of what's going on with Liverpool. And also, we do have a little thing called the Euros coming up. Um, me, um, obviously, I live in Ireland. I was born in England. So I do follow England. Um, I do follow Ireland as well. Unfortunately, Ireland aren't in the competition. So I will be following England. So I'm looking to do some watch-along streams as well. So I'll probably, you know, mainly for England games. But if I can't do England games, I'll put a poll up and, you know, like... Say you have like two heavyweights like France versus Germany, say something like that. I might do a you know a stream for that. But again, also let me know, guys, in the chat, in the comments, let me know if that's the sort of thing you'd be interested in watching. And um Yeah, I think that's about it as well for the where I want the, the channel to go over the course of summer, because it's just a bit of an awkward one now, because like you know, I've really enjoyed doing the match previews. Um and you know, looking forward to the match and then doing the live streams, 
because Liv- Liverpool is, you know, my bread and butter. I love Liverpool. Yeah, you know, I've always watched all the Liverpool games. So now, you know, this is like a bit of a, a lull in, you know, the year for me. So I have to, obviously, I want to keep the channel going. I want to keep it interesting and entertaining for you guys, of course, until the next season starts. So obviously I'm going to be looking for ideas of where to take the channel and what to do over the course of this summer. Of course, I'll be, I'll be like I said, I'll be doing the Liverpool news updates, signings, of course. And then, you know, if you're interested in the Euros or... I'll, I'll be doing live streams for the Euros. But if there's any other ideas that you guys have, please do let me know. Um, also, my little show, Shit House of the Week, is probably going to be knocked on the head for the course of the summer, just because obviously with, without that much action going on, there's going to be not enough to pick from. It's been really difficult the last few weeks actually picking somebody because nothing's really happened. Um, so I'll probably knock that on the head until the start of the season. But we'll see because there is still a few games. Like there was the FA Cup today. There's the... the what's the word? The Championship Playoff Final tomorrow. There's the Champions League the following. So some things might happen. Some things might happen. And if there is something happen, I will be announcing a shit house of the week. Don't worry. And then shit house of the month for May. But just in case there isn't, you know, I'll have to replace that with a another series and of course i'll bring that back when the new season starts because it's just fun picking out the rubbish that happens in football the comical moments like this week's one was i thought it was quite funny it was a laughable moment i think i'm speaking on behalf of all liverpool fans where i just say thank you to jürgen um thank you for the memories it's been an amazing nine years an amazing nine years like i've watched Liverpool well since I, as long as I can remember and I'm one of them people who was born between the the Premier League wins so I went 27 years of my life without seeing Liverpool win a Premier League I, I was born very close to the last Premier League win and to have witnessed that you know it's not it's, it's some sometimes some People will never see their team do that. And I got to witness a witness a little bit of history on top of, you know, the Champions League win, of course, is that's an elite competition. And it's, you know, amazing for these players to have won it and to have gotten to another final. The heartbreak as well. Like all of the emotions that went with Jurgen Klopp, you know, there's the heartbreak, there's the good times, there's the celebrating a Premier League trophy in an empty stadium you know i was sat on my front doorstep because with a bottle of beer in my hand because that was all i could do there was nothing i could do couldn't be with the people which is why going to liverpool as well this time was so important to me because i just i wanted to be with the people and just to feel that emotion because it's something that was lacked during that premier league win and yeah like i said i'm delighted that i've done it and yeah, that's all I have to say is, yeah, goodbye and thank you. And I appreciate it all. The good and the bad. The good, the bad and the ugly. So, yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the photos. And also, I plan on doing more videos like this when I go to games, sort of like vlogs, I suppose you'd call it, or like diary entry type things. Because I do plan on going to a few games next season. I do plan on going to more games in general. So hopefully if I do that, I'll make a few videos, take photos, of course, and make little like diary entry type videos to my time at Anfield and, you know, in Liverpool. So if you like that, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoy the comment, uh, if you really enjoy the content and want to get more of it, hit that um, subscribe button, hit that notification bell. You'll get notified when I post videos. And thanks everybody for tuning in. And until next time, up the fucking reds.